Lisa Arena might have been the queen bee of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I'm like a cockroach, you can't get rid of me. Fresh as a f***ing daisy. <laughs> But her reign has come to an end because she got fired from the show. And after days of radio silence, she is now speaking up. And you guys are not going to believe how she's trying to spin this story because there is never an end to the drama when it comes to Lisa. It has been confirmed that Lisa Arena will not be returning on the next season of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And even though she's saying it was a mutual decision between her and Bravo to end the contract, insiders revealed that she was actually fired by the network because they had had enough of her antics. Lisa is definitely one of the most popular cast members of Beverly Hills, but she is also one of the most controversial. She has had fights and feuds with most, if not every other cast member, and things often get messy. But she doesn't mind the messy drama, and she even took things as far as starting drama and beef with the cast members of Real Housewives of Dubai. There are lots of messy and chaotic housewives, but none of them have been as wild as to have beef with people that are not even on their show. No, that's just a Lisa thing, and it just goes to show how messy she can be. Sure, the entire Housewives franchise runs on drama and things like that, but Lisa often goes too far and has been called out a lot of times for her behavior. At first, she was unbothered by all the negative comments about her behavior and insisted that she wasn't going anywhere. I'm like a cockroach, you can't get rid of me. Fresh as a f***ing daisy. <laughs> but she got more and more out of control with her behavior over the past year and a half and it got to a point where rumors started flying around in 2022 that Bravo was not going to renew her contract. So she decided to do some damage control by blaming her bad behavior on the fact that her mother had passed away in late 2021. She said, I have had a really rough time of it. I think you've seen how hard this has hit me. I'm sorry if I've raged on you about you. It was really nothing to do with any of you. I'm really struggling. I just never thought it would feel like this, but here it is. Losing my mom has really hit me hard. I know it's not easy to have warm fuzzies for me right now, but I'll get through this and hopefully come out on the other side stronger and better. But unfortunately for her, that apology was a little bit too late and people were already sick and tired of her. It also didn't help that the apology didn't come off as sincere and people believed that she was using her mom's passing as an excuse for her behavior. Insiders revealed that Bravo had already made up their minds at that point that she was going to be fired from the show once her contract was up because they were sick and tired of dealing with the fallout from her chaos. She drove up the ratings, but they still thought that she was more trouble than it was worth. The interesting thing about her getting fired is that Bravo was super careful to make sure that the ratings wouldn't be affected by her departure. In the last season, Lisa was absent from a few episodes, which was weird because according to an anonymous source, this was a calculated decision by Bravo to test the waters and see what the ratings would look like without Lisa on the show. They didn't want to fire her and then have to rehire her because of poor ratings, so they took their time and conducted a secret experiment to see how that would work. But the ratings turned out great, so they felt like it was safe to fire Lisa without risking the success of the show. She knew that she was going to be fired, or at least she suspected that she was, because she made some interesting posts on social media in the days leading up to the announcement. In one post, she said, I'm a star and the audience loves me and I love them and they love me for loving them and I love them for loving me and we love each other. And that's because none of us got enough love in our childhoods and that's showbiz, kid. In another post, she wrote, I was Lisa F. Marina before Housewives and I'll be Lisa F. Marina after. It's either she had an inside source that told her she was gonna get fired or she read the writing on the wall. Either way, her journey with the franchise is over and done with, but she is choosing to spin the story, saying that it was a mutual decision because it makes her look better. In a statement to People Magazine, she said, This is the longest job I have held in my 35-year career, and I'm grateful to everyone at Bravo and all those involved in the series. It has been a fun eight-year run, and I'm excited for what is to come. But people aren't buying her story, and they left comments saying, Lee Serena expecting us to buy that it was a mutual decision to not return to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, baby, you was fired. And I also believe that she was fired. With her behavior during the past season, I highly doubt that she even thought about negotiating. The producers were watching how everyone reacted to her behavior and were holding back renewing her contract, 
by Lisa. The dynamics of the upcoming season of the show are definitely going to change without Lisa, and it's going to be interesting to watch how it all plays out. But while we wait for that, you should check out this next video.